after one was completed, but I reloaded my save to go back in there. Play do not. Would that start me over? Fuck, dude. We're gonna hit play. I hope it doesn't make me start over. I don't think it is. No, okay, thank god. Dude, I was so scared. Okay. Oh, shit. That was making me panic. Can we talk to this dude again? Previously violent expressions turned to kindness. We'll now live a peaceful life. Yeah, we're hella gonna have to fight the king again, huh? But I actually wanted to talk about Undertale, now that I've played it. Or Deltarune? <laughs> so that dude said, uh, where the stars don't shine. We're gonna go back all the way to the beginning, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, that dude said, where the stars don't shine. So I'll just keep an eye out for that. I want to talk about Deltarune Chapter 1 now that I've played it some. Obviously, I came into this with very high expectations. After everyone telling me, oh, it's pretty much the fucking best game ever made and you'll you'll never play another video game like it, it's way better than Undertale. How could I not have such, you know, sky-high expectations? And I think that definitely hampered my gameplay experience. Uh, it took me a little bit to get into it. I was enjoying it from the get-go, but it took a little bit for it to, like, finally click complete with, with me, right? And I was like, okay, I'm fucking jamming now but when that happened I was really enjoying it but I must say that uh, I don't know how I feel about the combat it's like much faster and I would say more varied than Undertale but you know going from that relatively you know recently into this was a big change everything is much faster paced I believe your heart moves faster enemy attacks are faster uh, it seems like there's less of a, uh, a punishment for getting hit. There's gonna, that's gonna be important at some point. But I don't know, the boss was just extremely kind of underwhelming to me. I didn't really like the king, his design was cool. I liked his voice. Uh, I don't remember his theme, uh, exactly, but I think I remember enjoying it. But his combat wasn't super fun to me. And I didn't quite care for his dialogue. Now Lancer, however, I do love that boy, and these two, Susie and Rouse, I absolutely adore them. Like, I love them so, so much. They're like, immediately S-tier characters for me. I love this graze mechanic, I think that's super cool and super rewarding and adds another layer of variety to the game, right? I think the party system is neat, it's different. Overall, so I'm kind of split on the the combat right now. It's different, but not bad. But I don't know if I prefer it yet, right? That's where I'm at currently. I think that the puzzles are like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, this shit, dude. I made a note and then forgot about my note. Oh my God, I don't remember the floors. This must be that last broken piece, probably. All right, I'm just gonna look up the. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I made a note. I did the work myself. I just forgot about it because I had to go to sleep. Diamond heart, clover spade. Is what a Reddit comment said. Isn't that clubs though? So diamond. Heart. How do you get diamond heart? What the fuck? Like that? Okay, good shit. Is this the last key piece? Let's fucking go. Yeah, but so things are different in a way that I appreciate, but I'm not sure if I prefer as of yet. And I think that's fair. I think that's fair. The music is good. It's also different. I feel like the music is like much more complex, at least as far as like area themes. I feel like the area themes are bopping, less atmospheric maybe, but way more bopping. You know what I mean? Like, listen to that shit.
Yeah, the king was just extremely underwhelming to me personally. Fix item. That key is seething with energy. You must let me fix it. Haha, <laughs> let's feel my technique. I like this guy. The animations and, and visuals, I feel, are ramped up to a crazy degree. Broken key cards became the prison key. Terrible energy. Please understand I only fixed it so that you will never have to use it. Yeah, well, we're gonna use it, obviously. <laughs> Um, let's, we can save at the castle, I think. I think there's a save right before that prison cell, but we'll just do that. I think magic, introducing magic is very neat. Uh, what I really enjoyed was walking through town at the end and talking to everyone. Maybe not the most entertaining to watch, but it was very fun seeing all these old faces and seeing how they are now, right? And there are, like, allusions to things past. There's, like, Sans. He's like, I don't know you, dude. And then you can say you know him. Um, so I'm very curious to see if there is a tie to Undertale besides just, you know, characters. Well, how do we get to that? Shit. Maybe we need to take a different, uh... Elevator. That ending was absolutely bananas. I'm sure probably that's what everyone wanted to see my reaction to when they started the Let's Play. Uh, started watching with me. They were like, this is nuts. You need to watch it right now. Or get to that part. Because it is absolutely nuts. And I'm still not 100% on what exactly happened. Is, like, there a, a Kara tie-in? Is that a connection that's going on here? Because it it really reminded me of the, uh, I don't know the official term for it, but when you do pacifist after genocide, I didn't do this myself, I, I saw it on a YouTube video. Um, when you do pacifist after genocide, I think this is the one where we can select, is it not? I don't remember how to fucking get to that floor. But when you do pacifist after genocide and Toriel leaves like the pie for you, it's like, um, <laughs> Kara's like, they like do an evil laugh, and it, it kind of reminded me of Chris. So is, is that just what a human is without a soul? Or is Chris evil, and I am possessing them? Or am I looking at it in too much of a meta sense, you know? Is it just that is the human without a soul? Castle bathroom. Oh, what the fuck? Did I ever go in there? Royal flush. I like that. <laughs> I don't feel like these uh, base enemies, like these random encounters, uh, even though they're not random, you get what I mean? I don't feel like they're as iconic as uh, Undertales. I feel like I'm going into the same place over and over again. I have complicated emotions. I'm a... I'm a person, right? There's two elevators here. Okay, this must be the elevator that we take to get to that secret floor. Yes. Okay. So, this is probably a boss fight because I keep seeing, like, memes. And the memes are always, like, Toby Fox uh, composing, like, the hardest song you've ever heard in your life uh, for a secret boss named Scrumblo Kringle Crunkins, and it's like, you know, the gif of the guy playing the piano, and it's on fire. <laughs> Alright, well, let's save. <laughs> that's probably, this is probably a boss fight. The key, the key. A marvelous fun is about to break free. Won't you let yourself outside? Yeah, because he was like, I'm the one that's free, everyone else is imprisoned. Absolutely delusional. You put the door key in front of the door. A little tiny door. The door cre key created a door. Let's go in there. Oh, it's a jester type. I mean, that makes sense, considering the theming. v he -E -E? Is that a U or a V? I cannot tell. Uh, I guess it's a U, because there's visitors. Visitors, visitors. Now we can play a play. Then after you, I can play with everyone else, too. So, what are we playing exactly? <laughs> a game of life and death. Oh, it's just a simple numbers game. What a dickhead. 
When your HP drops to zero, you lose. Well, that's the kind of game you want to play, huh? Then I gotta warn you. Susie, what did we learn? You're dealing with a couple of sharks. That's a badass line. Oh, I do also think that it's cool that it's teen. Uh, it just gives the game a bit more freedom. There was some light swearing in Undertale. It's cool to have that amped up a little bit to a teen degree without being like... Like constant F-bombs and edginess. That wouldn't really vibe, I feel. I mean, I'm sure it would work, but I prefer it where it is right now. It's young adult. You suck ass. Stuff like that, you know? Shark to shark, I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't like that laugh. <laughs> now, now, let the games begin. Ooh. Oh my god, I love the area that we're fighting in. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Hypnosis. We need a bunch more TP. Random chaos. All right, yeah, it's the this is the, the the gif. You know the meme. Jevil, there's no strategy to defeat the enemy. Good luck. He talks. Chaos, chaos. Catch me if you can. That wasn't very hard. It smells like chaos. Of course. Random chaos. Let's peep it. Let's see what's going on. Chris spun around. Jevil got slightly more tired, and Jevil felt at ease. Jevil's defense dropped. Shall we play the ring around? But we won't be attacking, so that doesn't matter. Oh my good god almighty. What the fuck? He's down already? What? Okay. Okay, this is gonna be hard then. <laughs> okay. I feel like he just did mad damage there, because I don't even feel like that was a crazy attack. Okay. My hurts go out to all you sinners. Oh my god. He's hurting all of us. They're getting twisty. Oh! That was a sick dodge at the end. Jevil's laughing incomprehensibly. Hypnosis. Induce tired. That feels too easy. Jevil's next attack weekend became more tired. Okay, so we gradually tire him. It's not an instant tired and uh, pacify. Got it. Well, his next attack is weakened, so that's good. Aha, let's make the devil's knife. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, okay. Feels like a whirlwind, uh, I'd say so. I can do this and then have enough to heal, right? Yeah, she just does damage still. And we don't want that. Heal Chris. Chris spun around. <laughs> I love that that's the chaos. And I love the animation for it. What? It's nothing but a useless bird. <laughs> oh, very chaotic. Hip hip, let's ride the carousel game. What? What, dude? <laughs> what a cool attack. Also, it's hell. I hate it. Okay. We can do that again, but we need to use items. But can't I, uh, I can use items as Susie. Yeah. Heals 40, healing varies. Heals team, 160. That's good. Uh, healing varies. Isn't there one that just, like, heals five? Yeah, what happened to my, uh... My Lancer cookie. Whatever. Um, we'll just... Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. How did I not see that? Javel got slightly more tired, and it felt comforting. Okay. 
So he used the Lancer cookie. Okay, okay. Hee hee hee. Having fun? Join the club. Okay. Oh my god. We're dead. We're gaming so hard, but we're we're not doing great. This is a pretty tough boss. Okay. Okay, okay. We might die here. I think that is totally valid to, uh... Does it heal 160 to everyone, or does it heal 160 spread across, I wonder? If it... I don't think we died at all, actually, uh... During our first... Run through the chapter, so it is... It's nice to get a little bit of challenge here. It smells like chaos. Hmm. I guess this, since it's two people, it probably does more. Oh, yeah, it weakens his attack as well. Yeah, that's pretty crucial. Who keeps spinning the world around? <laughs> Yo, that was almost smooth. This, is, this dude is beating my little boy ass. I tell you what. We will defend. Defend. We'll just do straight defense and like get hella good TP. And we lucked out because this is a good, easy attack. Yeah, so. And now we can do our hypnosis. Game more tired. You kids are really keeping up. See, like this, bo this boss fight is fire. I was thinking, oh my god, I was thinking maybe I had an issue with the game's combat, but I don't think that's the case. I think maybe, I hate to say it, it feels mean. I think maybe the king just wasn't a compelling character and uh, wasn't a super great boss fight. I feel a bit underwhelmed by it. Well, he's not tired yet, really, right? But this is hella good. And the, the music is about Chris spun around. And I love the background. I'm saying it over and over. Look at his animation. It's all so perfect. It's I'm, I'm in love with this. Chris spun around. Jevil got slightly more tired. And Jevil felt at ease. Jevil's defense dropped. But I'll say cast Heal Prayer. I never had such fun. Me either, bro. This is this is like the best part of, the, of chapter one, I'd say, maybe. Well, besides the characters. Combat-wise, this is definitely the best part of chapter one. Yo, we're getting fucked up a little bit, actually. Alright, then y'all can use items. <laughs> Healing varies. I guess we'll just have them heal themselves. Healing varies. Hopefully we get good heals. Awkward. Upcoming attack will hurt rapidly. That's not good. Susie used the Choco Diamond for 30. Oh, he maxed out with a hearts donut. That's good. Did I not use a Choco Diamond on him? A beauty is coming, or something. Alright, well, it's a relatively easy attack, so hurting rapidly is not a huge deal. Okay. We'll just defend. We'll get some defense up, and then uh, do a healing spell on Chris. Even Devil's Knife is smiling. Ouch. I think... Ouch. Jesus Christ, bro. Okay. This is bad. Look. I think the thing that was the most disappointing about, um... The fight with... The King was that it wasn't a gimmick. It was just a run-down-the-clock thing. Whereas all the bosses... Ouch. Okay, we died. Okay, okay, we died, and this is a learning experience. It appears you have reached an end. An end, but not the end. Okay. It felt like every boss in Undertale was a puzzle. But not all of them. I guess Papyrus wasn't. And Toriel really wasn't either. It's just kind of spam spare. And neither was Pap Sans. Maybe I'm just making up bullshit. Because I'm, I'm partial to Undertale. It being my baby. But this is very good. This fight is like elevating an already enjoyable Deltarune Chapter 1 experience into something even better. 
I think we must go to the shop <laughs> to get better stuff. Oh, homemade weapon healing up. That's good. That is really good. Especially since he's a healer. I think we will buy that. And put that on our boy Rousey. That increases- oh, sh son of a bitch, we already had a healing scarf on him. Well, we just wasted money, because I'm not going to re reload a save just to, <laughs> just to undo that. We know what to expect now. Let's make this a two-attempt two boss battle. I think that's doable. Hell, I have no clue. There's like no indication of how far we along we were with that. No point in checking. Let's just get our defense up. Catch me if you can! Okay, well, that's a pretty bad start, I must say. Ouch. We're sucking dick. Big dick. What the fuck? But we'll get a, a young hypnosis out the way real quick. I want to avoid... I don't know how you dodge that. Guaranteed. It's a very interesting attack. We want to avoid using our healing items and use magic when possible to heal. Because it's simply, it's free healing. Which is too good, right? <laughs> you want to use that whenever you have the opportunity. My hearts go out to all you sinners. Jesus Christ, okay, well we're doing... We got bodied that time. We got absolutely bodied. Way worse than last time. That was a different death message that time. Will you persist? I thought we knew... How did I do so much better the first time? We got dicked on in like two turns there. <laughs> Alright, let's run it back, Jebel. Maybe help if I stop running directly into attacks. Defense drop for Je Jebel. Shall we play the ring around? Okay, I think we got that attack now, actually. I almost feel like I should have healed Ralsei, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay, maybe not. Upcoming attack will hurt rapidly. But this is the easy attack. Okay. Let me stop talking shit, bro. One more hit and Ralsei's done. Okay, okay. Heal prayer on yourself, my friend. My best fluffy boy. Devil got slightly more tired, and... Tranquil. The dance defended the party. So we have higher defense this turn, I guess? Let's make the devil's knife. I'm just bad at this video game, I think. Did I get hit on every attack there? That was kind of nuts. Uh, we'll make her defend, because she has lower HP, right? Is that the meta? And then use a Lancer cookie on Susie. It's nothing but a useless bird! <laughs> so the chaos gives us, like, a random thing. Sometimes he hurts more, sometimes he gets lower defense, sometimes we get more defense, sometimes it's a useless bird. I get it. Hip hip, let's ride the carousel game. This attack is so cool, but it is so hard. And Chris is down. Damn. Uh, ch chocolate diamond. 
And we will actually heal Prayer Susie. Okay, Chaka Diamond. Did pretty good for Chris. It said healing varies on it. Or maybe it varies every time. Ouch. Ouch, god damn it, you Chris. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is time for the one that uh, heals a 60, 160, yeah, yeah. It's definitely time for that. I can do anything. I can do anything. I hope that items don't, like, carry over between chapter 1 and 2, and, like, I'm actually screwing myself by using, like, the top cake. <laughs> That would be unfortunate. Well, we can finally do a hypnosis on this man. You keep spinning the world around. We haven't been able to do one of them in a minute. Shit, my pants. Uh, heal prayer, Chris. I wonder if this is like... The king, where you just have to wait it out, or if you have to keep actively making him more tired and every healing turn is uh, a wasted turn, pretty much. This is real bullet hell. Smells like chaos. Pirouette? Do we get enough to get a heal off with magic? No, we don't. So we will use an item. Heart Donut also has varied healing. Interesting. We will use it on Rousey. What? It was just Foley. Why did a truck hon honk the horn? <laughs> Rousey used Heart Donut. It's all too much fun. He's targeting Rousey. That's dirty. He's targeting my best boy and he's doing half his freaking damage every attack. That's nuts. I was like chaos. We'll pirouette with Chris, and then we will revivement our boy Rousey. The max amount. Very good. You kids are really keeping up. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> We're not keeping up that good now. Oh my god. I feel like I hadn't heard him say you kids are keeping up before, so I feel like we are uh, making progress now. I never had such fun fun. Good lord, man. Ouch. Jesus, that did so much. Okay, well, pirouette. And then heals team 30. So this one I'll actually be able to see. Does it heal 30 for everyone or 10 for everyone? 47, 44, 42. Okay, so it heals 30 for everyone. Okay. That's the generous way of the wording, uh, but I wasn't 100%, you know. Uh, oh, no, no, uh, yeah. I actually think I want to save up to do a hypnosis. The devil's knife is smiling. This is a hell attack. So maybe uh, doing max defense was the right call. <laughs> okay, and Susie is down. Uh, so we cannot do a hypnosis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we'll pirouette on him, and we'll magic. I don't know if that'll even do enough heal to revive her. But didn't they say that... See, since you go into negative HP, you think you'd need to see heal that HP, but I think I remember them saying that anything will bring you up out of a, a down. But I might just be misremembering. I know different games handle that kind of differently. Oh my god, she's down again. Things are starting to look a bit grim. I think we'll just run that back, Pirouette, and heal Susie.
Everyone HP got jumbled up. Oh, that's no good. Well, damn. Rousey and Chris are hella going down, but at least Susie is mad tanky. Oh, even our max HP has changed. Yikes. Okay, uh, we might be dead. We're dead. We are dead. That that jumbling of the HP really screwed me. Okay. <laughs> this is a hella fun fight. Yeah, as I'm experiencing the combat more, I'm liking it more. Like I said, I have slept. Did I say this? I did sleep on it. I, I've slept between uh, the last episode and this episode. And... It's putting the game higher for me. I've had some time with it, baby. I think I need to learn which attack is when for maximizing the efficiency of uh, when to hypnosis or, yeah, hypnosis. But we're just going to keep throwing ourselves at it for right now. If we get to a point where it's like, man, we really can't beat this guy whatsoever, then I will, uh, I will begin to do that. Shit my pants, bro. Well, Rousey's down. Jesus Christ. I don't want to use a revive minute yet. Actually, no, we will act with him. We will pirouette, and then we'll use uh, that on Rousey with Susie. Having multiple options like that is, is really fun. The party system, I dig it. Susie used the rules root. Rules root. That thing. Pit pit, let's ride the carousel game. This one is kind of hard, dude. Yeah. That one's pretty hard. <laughs> so this uses 20. Does that, that does give him enough to heal her. Good. Oh, it maxed out his HP. Sick. That's a good... That's a good one. I don't know if we'd actually seen that... Uh, that randomness yet. Okay. I think maybe now would be the best time to use... Our... Heal 160 to everyone. Yeah, top cake. Everyone's HP got jumbled up. Dude, that one sucks. At least it gave Chris the max HP. I think that's pretty good. Because he's our most important character. Because he can act on his own. Or they can act on their own. Uh, yeah, we'll keep pirouetting. Defend, and... I guess we'll defend again so we can try Hypnosis next time. Well, he just got powered up. That's no bueno, because it's one that we're not good at. Only 34? That's not that bad. Get hypnotized. You kids are really keeping up. Okay. That's a good, uh... Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> you kids are keeping up is a good, uh... Good sign, I feel. It was just Foley. Okay. Ouch. We're gonna save up for another... Another, uh... Hypnotism. That's it, yeah. 
A beauty is joying in my heart. Okay. Get hypnotized? Even Devil's Knife is smiling. This is a really strong attack, so that was a good hypnotist turn. And we still might lose? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. We'll, we'll use a revivement on Chris, and then use a heal prayer on Susie. And that puts us in a pretty good spot. So exciting, I can't take it. Oh. Man, this dude is so rapid fire. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Chaos Bomb was prepared for you. Well, that sounds bad. We'll get some defense up and then heal who is hurting the most. We're all kind of equal as far as life bar goes, but Chris has the most HP right now, so... Alright, this is it, boys and girls. See ya. Is this his final attack? Yeah, that is chaos. That is chaos. Ouch. Okay, we might be screwed. We're not screwed. We're, we're goaded. But we can only res one. I feel like Rousey is more... Is more essential because of his healing. Enough, you kids tired me up. Does that mean the sparing is an option? His attack is this is much weaker. Something terrible is coming. Doesn't say he's tired. Okay. Hearthstone at Susie and then Magic herself. Yeah, he's not tired enough. Okay. Ooh. This is make or break it, I think. Kidding, here's my final chaos. Oh my god, it's the entire screen. Yikes. What the f We don't have a life bar. Oh, <laughs> what? Jevil's pulling out all the stops, I can see that. My god. I would love to do a hypno hypnosis, but I don't think we can without dying. And then we'll magic our- I don't want to- I kind of want to magic ourself, but... I feel like we definitely want to make sure we have enough for a pacify. So we'll use an item on ourselves. I think we can survive anything right now. Okay, it's just a carousel. That did 41 damage on a hit, but we only got hit once. Hypnosis is key here. It's all too much fun. Yikes, my guy. This is nuts. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That was nothing. That was nothing. See, I would even do... I would even do Hypnosis again if I didn't think Susie would die. So... We're gonna... Pirouette, Spare, and Magic Heal Susie. What? It was just Foley. <laughs> heal Prayer. Please, it's just a simple game? Is that what he was going for? Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. This is bad. Chris Chris healed on their own. Interesting. We don't have enough. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. And that's our last healing item. This is actually really bad. 
curtains really are on fire. And it's, of course, the attack. One of the attacks were the worst. Oh, I figured it out. Okay. Devil's pulling out all the stops. I can see that, and that makes me scared. <laughs> Pirouette. Defend. Magic heal. Awkward. Upcoming attack will hurt rapidly. That is the worst news I could have ever heard in my life. Especially when it's this one. Yikes. It's only 43. I don't know if that flavor text actually means anything. Okay, we barely have enough to pull this off as far as TP. Tranquil. The dance defended the party. That's very good. Can you? I feel like that should have been Jevil's final attack when uh, he took the whole screen. He's truly exhausted. Let's go. That's game over. Get gamed on. Maybe? What fun, I'm exhausted. You kids tired me up. Now I was asleep for the other 100 years. Unfortunately, you kids cannot have such a pleasant dream. From now, a nightmare will awaken in your hearts. In the shadow of the knight's hand. Lightners, can you stop it? Hee hee hee. Either way, a mischief mischief, a chaos chaos. Lightners, from inside your little cell. Take this and do your strongest. You got shadow crystal. Jevil's tail was added to your armor. Good shit. We're getting like good armor and shit. A J-shaped tail that gives you devil energy. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> we'll put that on Susie. Well, hold up. It gives a I can't take it from her? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's Susie's then. Okay, so that was Jebel. That was fun. <laughs> that was hella fun, dude. That was a really fun boss fight. That was sick. Banger theme, banger visuals, banger attack patterns. All around, pretty excellent, I would say. I'm still curious about that money pit. Is there anything in the money pit now? Probably not, but the curiosity is killing me. No. Nothing. Okay. What did it say was added to our... Sharp shadow moves like water in the hand. You've collected one. You held the crystal up to your eye. For some strange re reason, for just a brief moment, you thought you saw toys strewn on the floor. But it must have just been your imagination. That is a very odd flavor text that I have no idea how to possibly interpret. I mean... What the fuck? I'm gonna fight the king again, and we'll see if my opinion changes on this fight. Maybe I was just tired last night. Yeah, this is fucked up. I love this when Susie comes in like that, though. That's so badass. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off. Yeah, cliche, cliche, buddy. And then we all kneel? Bro, this is so sick. I love this so much. This is cool. But, like, once we're actually talking to the king, I don't like it that much. But this is all sick. I love the character development over Susie and Lancer, too. And then Rousey is just the most wholesome little baby boy ever, right from the get-go. This fight is obviously going to feel much easier after that Je uh, what, what was that dude's name? Jevil? After that Jevil fight? But easier doesn't mean bad. This is a cool gimmick. I think that this fight just goes on too long. I feel. For the knight has appeared. He says that. Who is the knight? I'm gonna pay closer attention to his the shit he's saying. Maybe there's like... Maybe there's important stuff. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Yeah, let me, let me pay closer attention, dude. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. 
Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of look like a knight. <laughs> or Chris does. They have a, a cape and a sword. What the fuck? Are we the knight? Soon this world should be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. I still don't really care for, like, that classist shit Ralse was saying. To Lancer earlier? Like, oh, your purpose is to serve lighteners. That's why you're happy now, because you're serving someone. That's fucked up, dude. I hate that. Maybe I was, maybe I was, uh... Being just a moody bitch for no reason. This is kind of a cool fight, to be honest. It seems that. That's what I hated when he was saying three words. It's like, give me a little something more, buddy. What is this? <laughs> My knight, I shall not fail you. It'd be interesting if Chris with the soul is the knight is uh, the hero, but Chris without the soul is the knight. Interesting, maybe that's a little theory there. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I do love this design without the cape. He's just a big blob, gross looking. Love it. You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, piss me off. Oh yes! Ah, uh, Susie, uh, the, the parallels. Hey, get away from my friend! Ah, I love it! Okay, see I'm getting nostalgic for something I played last night. It's so good. Yeah, we're gonna talk to everyone because I don't know what carries over from chapter one to chapter two. So we gotta talk to everyone, which sucks because that means I have to go through the town too. And redo all the dialogue for everyone. But if I'm just mashing through it, I guess it's not gonna take that long. Oh, and then he takes off his hat. So you can actually miss this if you don't decide to go back and talk to everyone, huh? Really enjoy meeting you too, and. Can you stop mumbling in your hat? Show me that cute little face, baby boy. There it is. I'm Chris Susie I. You and Susie's like, damn, this boy is cute as hell. <laughs> um, but like, did I mention this? He looks like Toriel. And his name is Ralse, which is like Azriel. But an anagram. Like how Deltarune is an A. Wait, that's not the word. Is that the word? Anagram? Whatever, like how it's a rearranging of the letters, like how Deltarune is for Undertale. Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Doesn't she give me a hug or something? Or a head pat? A shoulder pat? That's good. Yeah. You got it, sweetie. I love you, girl. <laughs> this is interesting. Blink. You usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. So can Chris not play the piano well because I am in their body? Oh, so this is a mascot. The castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. Do they get a heat stroke? She's talking about Susie. Yeah, she's getting advice from on... Talking to Susie, isn't she? They're also saying I was a creepy kid next door. Yeah, and Noelle was like, uh, used to like, used to hide under her bed and scare her. And I used to prank everyone. Like, was I evil before, or was Chris evil before the soul? Like, before the beginning of the game? It's so interesting. I can't wait to figure out more about what's going on. I'm sure that there's even more context clues that I'm missing, like, how oh, in Undertale, like, everything was foreshadowed, like, so much. Like, you go to, like, the tr the Alphys' lab and, like, look at everything, uh, and even before that, like, talking to Undyne and stuff, like, there's so many hints about her relationship with Alphys, and Alphys' affection for Undyne before they ever interact, and everyone's talking about everyone and everything. And the letters in Alphys' desk. Everything is just, like, foreshadowed. It's it's sick. So I'm sure there's a lot more than meets the eye going on with all these conversations. Which, uh, 
I say as I'm mashing through them, but I did already read them. And I'm going to see them again during editing. I just want to make sure, in case any of these conversations are important, that uh, they have been expanded upon <laughs> in this save. You know what I mean? Wait, glass? Oh. I didn't have that last time. That must be from... That must be from that, uh, the Darkener world. I bet the ball of junk is a small ball of accumulated things. I bet that's everything I had in my inventory in that world. This is the one I feel is the most important, with Sans. Are you busy tomorrow? Yeah, this is what was important. I live just next door, you know? Yeah, we'll come over. You answered quickly. That's not good, I'm a total stranger. <laughs> Me and his little brother. He needs friends. Is it Papyrus, though? The distant trousel of bones. Isn't Papyrus' theme song Bone Trousel or something like that? <laughs> this is still so funny. Alpha's just living in the... Well, she doesn't live here, but just chilling in the fucking alley. Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's cute. He's out there getting a big brain in the big school. Opening becomes a big shot. I know that's a song from chapter two. That's like the song. He remembers us little guys down the street, eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. What the fuck does, what does that mean? Yeah, this is another part that I feel is important. Seeing Papa as Gort. <laughs> what a weird parallel to, all the parallels to Undertale are so interesting to me, dude. I think I've heard Toby has- oh, that's so cute. I think I've heard Toby has said that this isn't a sequel to Undertale. But there's so many references to it, you know? It's like, is that just fan service, or like, what the, what the fuck is going on, you know? Even, you know, the characters are, are from Undertale. Oh yeah, this is probably also important. She's nice, I might die too. You're into her, you cutie. Did it seem like she, um, wait, you definitely wouldn't know that is into girls? Or you? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Is something wrong? Why did you go see my dad at the hospital? I'm sorry, Chris, forget I said anything. Yeah, so I'm definitely acting weird. Wait a minute. She said, I'll find some place for them. Didn't the trash can say it smells like... Toriel? That's kind of mean, but it's also kind of sick. You just throw that shit in the trash. I kind of respect it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's foreshadowing, dude. That's there from the beginning of the game. You have no idea that your dad's even in the game as Asgore. You especially don't don't realize that it's he's a florist or that he's giving shit to your mother yes all right let's see this again This is so creepy. It's really good minimalism. It's one part where I actually do like the footsteps. I kind of don't like them when you're just walking around <laughs> in certain areas, but there it's so good. And this is so intense. I'll show you what it reminded me of. I'm playing a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure scene on the screen. <laughs> I love how aggressively Chris throws it into the cage too. Is that why they have the bird cage? Do they take it out every night? I'm glad I tried to move because that puts it in perspective that I am the soul. And Chris is something different. You evil little shit. But we don't hear that evil laugh.
Deltarune Chapter 1, very great. I was a little middling on it after I initially finished it. I think a big part of that is because it was 3 a.m. and I was tired. Uh, but I fought Jevil, who was an amazing fight. I love that fight. That was so good. We got a cool item, too. I wonder if that's going to be relevant story-wise. We got armor, plus we got like a crystal thing. That even translated into the real world in the form of a shard of glass. And we refought the king, and on a second time, I really enjoyed that king fight. I think, as unfortunate as it is, I was just tired uh, the first time I fought the king, and I just kind of wanted to be done with it. Uh, so, I'm glad that I actually refought the king and re-talked to everyone. I noticed a couple more things. Yeah, I'm glad that I replayed the end of that. I'll catch you guys next time with chapter 2. I'm fully sucked in now. I'm fully in. Uh, good shit, good shit. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>